Experts on the auto industry say they expect super car buying incentives. You like this car? Yeah. It's yours. Things are not looking so bright for the housing market. I'm sorry you took getting kicked out of my house the wrong way. When Friday arrives, just give me a nudge. It's Friday. I'm ready to party. Start the party. It gets crazy in here. Don't leave Friday unattended. Showtime. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Steven Spielberg and Leonardo DiCaprio are in talks to collaborate on a Ulysses S. Grant movie. Grant has been widely recognized as a superior military tactician for leading the Union Army to victory over the Confederacy during the Civil War under the supervision of President Abraham Lincoln, winning key battles at Shiloh and Vicksburg. He won two terms as president as a successor to Andrew Johnson and stabilize the economy. More to come on this project. Well, the world is counting down to the wedding of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry this weekend, but Amy Schumer, who was on some silly radio show yesterday, believes the occasion will hardly be a fairy tale for the former Markle. Oh, Ollie, I think it's so funny. Like, we, I, I, I wanted to do a piece where, I mean, this poor girl, like your wedding, you know, mm. everyone says it's your day, right? Yeah. It's a bride. It's yeah. your day. It's like, she's like, no, it's not. Like, she has to meet all these, you know, foreign dignitaries she's never met before. Yeah. It's so much pressure. It's like, can you imagine having a worse wedding? That I mean, that would mm. suck. It's like her, her girls from high school aren't going to be there. Like, my friends were all, like, high and drunk at my wedding. You know, everyone there is just like a, it's like a parade. It's like a... It's like this Westminster dog show. It's all pompous circumstance. Now, from Calvin Klein, a new fragrance blending the West with with Russia. Russia. A wafting aroma combining power, greed, and deceit. deceit. Collusion. 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 You can smell the conspiracy. Anything to win. Unrefined and uncivilized. And yet, so underhanded. There's no denying. Your lawyer will love it. Now available with a six-month subscription from the New York Times. And coming soon, Incrimination. Yeah, are you ready for the big wedding? Kind of feel sorry for Meghan Markle. She's having to say goodbye to her dysfunctional stepfamily to become part of her husband's dysfunctional royal family. An Israeli soccer team changed their name to Trump. It isn't working out very well. Since changing their name to Trump, all the players want to do is eat McDonald's and yell at CNN. Insiders say that two of the White House's economic advisors got into a profanity-laced screaming match with each other. One in favor of tax breaks for the rich, while the other is in favor of bigger tax breaks for the rich. Canadian Prime Minister Trudeau is in the United States to promote investment in Canada. Don't even try to bribe us with that bogus bacon, said Americans. The Catholic Church issued guidelines to all its nuns to please use only social media with discretion and sobriety. So no late night tweeting after the communion wine. American Airlines kicked a first class passenger off the flight because he was caught trying to sneak booze to his buddies in economy. You know, it's just one thing after another with Meghan Markle's step family. The Surgeon General of the United States helped save a passenger's life aboard a Delta flight. The story is getting lots of attention, mainly because there's a government official who actually flies commercial. Russian President Vladimir Putin climbed behind the wheel of a big rig in an attempt to become the first to cross a new bridge connecting Russia to Crimea. However, the spotlight was stolen by a cat that beat him across. The cat hasn't been heard from since. Time for Nobody Gives a f- Stan Lee, the creator of some of your favorite superheroes, including Spider-Man, says a company that he created stole his identity. His secret identity. Hey, Avengers, nobody gives a f- A Perth, Australia restaurant is giving customers water pistols to scare away seagulls because seagulls have never seen water before or anything. Hey, stupid Aussies, nobody gives a f***. 
And Chili's restaurants got hacked and customer data was stolen. You know, it's bad enough that they have my credit card information. Now they know that I've eaten over 25,000 chicken crispers in my life. Hey, stupid restaurants. Nobody gives a f- Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests live Tuesdays and Thursdays on NSS.